What's the matter with you, man? MTV Cribs is here. I don't want to do Cribs unless I can do the whole thing. So I'm going to take over the whole show. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. If you're wondering what 50 Cent has been up to lately, as you probably know, he isn't living in that Connecticut palace anymore. Apparently, he's been spending quarantine at his New York City apartment. Don't be fooled if he seemed low-key, though. The rapper has been busy with producing, acting, and releasing his new book, Hustle Harder. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 50's Connecticut mega mansion and more. Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent, is a rapper, actor, producer, entrepreneur, and now he's even an author. Hailing from a rough neighborhood in Queens, he's come a long way from selling drugs at the young age of 12. As you probably know, he was discovered by Eminem and signed to Shady Records, with Eminem and Dr. Dre helping him become one of the world's best-selling rappers of the time. 50 has done a lot through his career so far, be it business ventures, winning Grammys, or starring as himself in Get Rich or Die Trying. These days, he's producing and starring on the series Power, and most recently doing the same for the ABC show For Life. Check. You ain't gonna get me this time, okay? I've been practicing. Yes, you have. There's definitely a bit of confusion around 50 Cent's net worth these days considering he filed for bankruptcy in 2015. Despite this, and despite moving out of his money pit mansion in Connecticut, he still bragged about buying a house in Africa a few years back. But we'll look at all that in just a bit. All things considered, 50 Cent's net worth these days is an estimated $30 million. It's a lot, but considerably less than when he was at his peak, listed by Forbes as one of hip hop's wealthiest artists, worth 155 mil. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Some of you guys requested this one, so we're going to be taking a look at 50 Cent's homes, including the mansion in Connecticut that took him 12 years to sell, his place in Africa, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Young Thug and Ice Cube, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Although we don't know what 50's current house looks like, we do know where he's living. According to 50 Cent's Instagram, he's been spending his quarantine in New York City, considering he shows off the downtown views from his place. We also know this is where he currently lives thanks to a recent interview he did with Hollywood Reporter last month. They said that 50 Cent has been living at his NYC home for about two months now, and he's getting restless. On the rapper's IG, after posting a photo in his living room, he confirmed that, captioning the pic, I ain't gonna lie, I never sit still. This is the longest I've been in one place since 2002. We know that 50 has a gym here because he says he works out daily while stuck at home. It seems his apartment is at least two levels since we saw photos of his kitchen he posted with his son and there's a staircase in the background. 50 has shown off a living room at his New York home as well and an open concept space where he has a TV. It just looked like this room wasn't fully unpacked yet. The rapper also posed in his lavish marble bathroom where he clearly likes to kick back and relax. By the looks of 50's New York City home, it's modern looking and classy, and I can't imagine rent is cheap. In the same Hollywood Reporter interview, he said when asked if he's in New York, Yeah, it's tough in New York because the buildings themselves are a representation of people on top of people. We're conditioned to be pretty close to each other, but you learn to mind your own business fast. So although I'm sure his condo is big by my standards, he's likely used to living in houses with even more space, which I can understand. If you guys know more about 50's New York City apartment, be sure to let me know what I missed. The most famous home we know of 50 Cent to have lived in once belonged to none other than world heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson. Unfortunately, when 50 had to unload the over-the-top mansion, it sat on the market for a long 12 years before finally selling in 2019 at an 84% discount. He once listed the mansion for $18.5 million, but by the time it was sold, it went for a mere $2.9 million, which is pretty sad considering the place is massive with 52 rooms. 50,000 square foot mansion sports 21 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms and seven kitchens. Back when 50 Cent was enjoying the peak of his career, he purchased this mansion for $4.3 million in 2003, setting a record for the neighborhood at the time. Located in Farmington, Connecticut, 50's previous mansion is located about 8 miles north
north of the affluent city of Greenwich. Of course, it sat on a private and exclusive lot, spanning more than 17 acres of land and protected by a stately iron gate. 50 spoke about moving on from this place, saying, Oh, I sold that place. I gave the proceeds to charity. I needed that place, man. There are points when you need confirmation of success. It was more than a house. It was also connected to my viewpoint on Mike Tyson. So the mansion obviously had some sentimental meaning to the rapper. Anyways, let's take a look inside this epic property, which is unlike anything I've ever seen. Damn. This is my dining room area. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, right? We never ate at this table. But it's pretty though, right? Inside 50's mansion spanned over 51,000 square feet and had a whopping 21 bedrooms and 35 bathrooms. I mean, that sounds more like a resort than a house. Walking in the mansion, you're greeted by a shiny double height entry with dual wood paneled staircases, and you can also see the large glass elevators. There are large skylights on the ceiling letting in plenty of light, columns, and marble flooring. There's a classy piano room and formal dining table right off the entrance hall. There's also a secondary dining area beside one of the multiple living rooms. The interiors are lavish to say the least, whether you're in one of the many bathrooms or one of the common spaces. Of course, there's a spacious kitchen on the main level with breakfast nook and pantry, as well as a family room and a great room. The listing says the mansion has eight floors, and if that's true, well then, wow. There are also five fireplaces spread across the residence. There are rooms at 50 likely used for business and work time, such as a library or study, and the large conference room for meetings. Then there are even more spaces to entertain, like multiple games rooms, including a casino style space and a billiard room, a home movie theater with blue velvet walls, and even a nightclub in the home capable of hosting 1,500 people. Now that's crazy. 50's master suite in his Connecticut mansion had double height ceilings and winding staircases leading to a private upper level. There's a glass and marble spa style bathroom attached and even a huge walk-in closet with glass doors to show off all of the designer wardrobe. Further features inside this epic mansion include a recording studio, indoor basketball court, indoor swimming pool with wooden walls, and a full home gym. 50 spoke about the previous gym recently stating, In my Connecticut estate, I had a full gym. Mike Tyson owned it before me. It had every type of workout machine you could think of. Of, which I don't doubt at all. Moving on to the grounds of his previous mega mansion, it's covered with surrounding trees for even more privacy, and of course there's a large guest house here for whoever wants to stay over. You know, if there isn't enough room in the main house already. Other features outside include a huge pond with gazebo, a swimming pool with stone archway, and even a hidden grotto with spa that looks like the one at the Playboy Mansion. Not to mention, 50 had a full-size outdoor basketball court designed to spell G-Unit in the center, but I'm not sure if that has been changed since. If you're wondering why 50 Cent ever left this gorgeous mansion, one of the reasons could be because of the bills. He was reportedly spending 70 k per month in utility bills, maintenance, and other expenses for the sprawling estate. After that Connecticut mansion, another one of 50's properties made headlines, this time in Africa. Although the rapper filed for bankruptcy in summer 2015 because of some lawsuits, it wasn't long before he took to Instagram showing off a new home he bought. Although the location of the house is unknown, the rapper posted footage of the place with the caption, My crib is almost finished in Africa. I'm gonna have the craziest housewarming party ever. Ever. In this since deleted video, a two story brown and white home was visible, surrounded by tropical trees. Workers were seen sweeping floors and engaging in various construction tasks, and we can also see the moss green swimming pool and sprawling patio area. I'm not quite sure what happened to 50's Africa home, but whatever the case, we know he's definitely not living there anymore and he's back on American soil. So now we've taken a look at the properties of 50 Cent, and we can see that the rapper changes his mind and moves around a lot. He even admits to it. Apparently, quarantine in his current New York apartment has been the longest longest he stayed put for a while, since 2002 in fact. We looked at the Connecticut mega mansion he owned once upon a time, complete with a 1500 person nightclub and various other over the top features, but ultimately he had to get rid of the place. Clearly spending 70 k per month on expenses and bills made it quite the money pit and it wasn't easy to sell either. It took 12 years and 84% price cut, ouch. Aside from this, it's been said that 50 owns two other investment properties in Atlanta and Long Island, as well as a New Jersey apartment, but I'm not sure which ones he maintains to this day. Anyways, that wraps it up for this 50 cent house tour, but I want to know what you guys think about his homes. More importantly, what did you think about that 52 room mega mansion? Be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to chat and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!